Things continue here with two-time world junior champ, current member of the top 34, Jack Freestone, the headliner in this matchup, taking on Mark Lacamar, Mihimana Bry, and Marco Fernandez from Brazil, Tahiti, France, Australia, represented here in Southern California. Here at the Vans US Open, plenty of room, it's all for free. And you get to see brilliant performances like that one from Evan Geiselman on to the next round. As we see a huge first turn from Mark Lacamar, and he'll get clipped Ooh, on the second effort. Let's get Caught inside. up with Jack Freestone yeah. here. Jack Freestone, good straight air on his backhand. Just spicy. It's so good to see the variety that gets thrown into these rides. When you have this beach break wall to work with, I think you get that excited feeling. You want to go to the air, you want to throw down some power turns. You want to fit it all in on one ride. But Mark Lacamar on his forehand, beautiful wall. I mean, overhead waves here at Huntington. So special to have these conditions. But There's a celebration at the Cathals household there to congratulate Freestone on that big world title. So you look at Marco Fernandez. Came in for the jersey change, got back in the lineup, and he's ready to compete here. Still running through the reform on his opening strike. Little power hack finish, and he's on the board. Yeah, looking sturdy. As we see Marco start out the back on the back end. Wow, just a great power move to begin that ride, electing to transition to his forehand. This really is the formula here at Huntington. Those big hits out the outside, if you're lucky enough, you get two, and then this whack, like I thought I did yesterday. <laughs> Oh, I love it. Watching this now, Jack Freestone. Big bottom turn, nice power hack. And ends up just with a single maneuver ride. That'll be a backup score for the time being. Setting up his opening ride, Mihimana Bry from Tahiti. First turn solid, little extend a slide on the second effort. Tough reform, that's going to go flat. Taking a sip of oxygen after that last heat, but Mihimana opening up his account here solid on his forehand and it's from the pacific islands we love going there every year freestone spending a lot of time in hawaii as well as we have a speedy left lakamar hits this one off the roof he's got a little more space to come down with the landing from that first effort solid power surfer Nice, solid rhythm for Lacamar on this effort row. Definitely. Linking those two outside maneuvers together, we spoke about the importance of doing that. He had that opportunity on his first exchange, didn't want to make the same mistake, so making certain he stays steady on his surfboard. Doesn't get the inside connection. So Fernandez down to third, Mihimana Bry's opener at 3.5. Here comes the Tahitian again. Good for just one quick snap, and he's out of there. Bart Lynch, a man who figured out the system and ways to win out here. A two-time U.S. Open champ is BL. Getting the flow down the line and just a little hung up is Mihimana Bry. As we look at this effort again on the running left. Well, Mihimana just going a little bit too far out on the flats there. Digging, you know, so many world champs that have taken this event out. Philip Toledo has won two of these events, but he hasn't won a world title yet. As we see the backhand rotation from Jack Freestone. His land ratio is incredible. Not pulling that one off. Fernandez now emerging out in the open face. Throwing a tail high reverse. He's down again. But the fire he has in the tank and the events to come, like lowers Europe. Let's watch this rotation from Jack Freestone. It almost seemed like he was going to ride out of that one. Yeah. At Snapper that amazing day where he got a 10 in the final against Julian. Mihimana Bry, little hack in the pocket. Slopey section, but manages to get some board speed up. The taxi end section, just playing with this white water. And now hoping for the reform. That is a redemption wave for Mihimana. Well paced. And now with priority, he's going to make a move. Big wind up for Lakamar. Layback car, nice and stylish. Full wrap. Gets the two-turn combo off, and he's out of there. Let's see Mark Lacamar setting up that rail turn, dropping that back arm and really laying into it, carving back just a two-turn.
just to get in the top two spots as we check out the heat recap. Things got underway with a classic stock backside air from Jack Freestone right into a combo and kept on swinging into the inside corner. It's fun to watch, but only got him a 4.83 for the panel. Yes, yeah, so just below that good score for Jack Freestone, he's looking to drop that and Mark Lackamau started so strong. Dominant performance from him in this heat, unfortunately going down on that one, but still gained a 5.67 for that attempt and then backs it up with this wave, Joe. Solid combination showcasing that power. He loves just being weightless off the roof. Judges love that commitment. The end of last season was Zeke got the call up, but Mendez finished just two spots behind him. Freestone up. Nice tight forehand jam on the oncoming section. He'll lay low here for the reform. Just hanging loose she through that soft part of the wave. Now starting to wind up. He loves a ramp. That one's just going to run down the beach without him. Place, do you think that hit was enough to get the 3.37 Jack needs? It's a tough one to decide. Still with more waves on the way. Fernandez, he's throwing a couple of little carves. Still wasn't able to really unload, though. So he's just going to bank on an inside corner. He needs a similar three-range score that Freestone was looking for. And he does get something to work with on the inside for a finishing move. Let's just see this from Marco Fernandez. Carving top turn. A lot of downtime as he waits for the section to stand up. Also looking for that mid-range three. Needs that 3.27. That bank off the lip was so important. So, wow, we could see a bit of a shakeup. But Jack Freestone, this is that one hit we're talking about. Big power move. The judges love it when you connect with those solid sections. Is it going to be that 3.37 that he needs? I'm going to say he's going to drop that score for sure. I'm with you, Rosie. Even without something solid on the inside, he did enough out the back to probably turn it at the heat before them we're trading sevens battling out with great momentum 15 seconds on the clock Mihiman Abrai was trying to force a little effort there on the left gets a quick head dip and looks like he's going to ride this one into the reform and the countdown scores coming through so Marco Fernandez was looking for a 4.10 on his effort and he locks in a 3.73. What a battle to the wow. finish, Rosie. It's still so exciting. So a little bit of a last minute shake up there. Me, Mon, Ray going all the way down to fourth place. So interesting to see how that heat eventuated.